is Misha Nasiri. That's M I S H A N A S S I R I. And you are a sergeant? Yes, I am. Okay. And could I have your billet? I'm the battalion ammo chief for headquarters battalion, 1st Mardiv. Okay. And your uh, hometown? I'm from San Diego. I was born there. Okay. Um, so, could you give me um, a little bit? background on why you joined the Marine Corps? I really wanted to serve my country. I wanted to do something different and you know in my mind like all of the action and everything that comes with it is something that appealed to me. Could you tell me a little bit about where you grew up and how that was? Yes, I grew up in Amsterdam, the Netherlands and it was it was a lot of fun. It's very even though it's like a Western type of culture, it's very different from here. And, um, you know, I, I would still obviously rather live in the USA, but it was a good time growing up there. It was a lot of fun and very educational to see so many different cultures and learn from it. What were some of the things you say you gained from that experience? I feel like I have a very different view as far as um, just just as far as social concepts, like interacting between different people. Um, and also they're, they're a lot more liberal than here. So coming here, um, coming back here when I was 16 and I was very used to the, you know, Dutch culture, it was, I don't want to say hard, but it, I, I had to get used to the differences here. And um, it's, it's helped keep me a bit more level-minded to what, when it comes to other cultures and a lot more accepting. Okay, so um, when did you first start uh, practicing martial arts? I was three years old when um, I started doing karate and I did that for a long time, which for the longest time I was actually kind of embarrassed to admit that. I thought like, oh, it's karate, like nobody likes that. But it's actually helped me a lot as far as MMA. It's, you know, it gives you a good base. And just starting at something that young, it kind of gives you that um, natural ability to move the way you're supposed to when you're doing other martial arts. I see. Okay, so um, I guess what, what motivated you to start training in MMA? When, when did that idea like, pop in your head? It's, I, I see fighting as like a skill that you have to develop. I see it as an art. I just wanted to develop myself that way. Like I've already done karate and I wanted to do, I wanted to continue fighting. And I really feel that um, MMA is such a dynamic way of fighting. You take a little bit of everything. And it's, it's just something I wanted to do. Just being able to move the way that these people do, being able to, you know, fight and, at the same time, be a little of a little bit of a you know, hard charger, I guess. Um, what what most or what are some of the things that appeal to you about combat sports in general? And being able to move that way, being able to you know, do certain things like make a little bit of a different body movement, and um, being able to make that much of a difference when it comes to fighting. Um, so, are you involved in any other? Uh, not at the moment. I used to do different sports when I was younger, but at the moment it's mainly just fighting. But, um, how, do you, how do you balance your training for MMA and then the Marine Corps? It's very hard work. It's very hard because um, besides those two things, obviously, like, I, I go to school, you know, you have to maintain, like, somewhat of a social relationship with your friends and your family and your coworkers. So it's a lot of losing out on sleep, a lot of, you know, making sacrifices as far as, you know, time and um, like any second that I can devote to something, I will, like whether it's work or whether it's MMA, like it, it's a lot of um, nights where I don't sleep that much or where I skip lunch to go train a little extra bit or work on something that, you know, I won't be able to do later because I want to train. I guess, you know, that extra effort that most other Marines don't have to, you know, worry about doing, uh, what, what motivates you to do that? What keeps you doing that? Well, it's, first off, it is very stressful. I do get 
times where I just, you know, I feel like my head is about to explode, but once you get to the point where it pays off, for example, at work, when I have like a junior Marine come up to me and tell me, hey, Sergeant, like, I can't believe you're doing this. I want to be like you or I want to do that. That motivates the hell out of me. And as far as MMA, the same thing, like all these people that are actually inspired, like especially little kids, that's the craziest thing for me. Like having little kids that I've never met come up to me like, oh my God, that's so awesome. You know, I want to I want to do something like that. Like putting someone po something positive into someone else's life, it, it definitely feels like it pays off, like putting all that he extra work in. So your first, I guess, amateur fight, what, what was that like? Could you explain that to me? The first amateur fight, I actually wasn't as nervous as my first pro fight, but um, it was a lot of, you know, a lot of hard work, you know, staying late hours with my coach and working on little things here and there. And I went in, I tried to visualize myself actually being in the cage beforehand, but it was still different. I was I was nervous like the days coming up to it but that day and especially right when I walked into the cage all of that went away I was on straight kill mode and um, then we went for it and it was it was great um, how, how many amateur fights have you done? I actually only did one amateur fight as far as MMA and um, I had a lot of supporters I had a lot of good training and when it came down to it, the match finished, they freaking, um, everyone was excited about it. My coach and even the, um, some of the people at the venue, they thought, okay, you're good enough to just go pro right now. Um, could you give me an idea as to what, like, uh, your training schedule, how that, how that works? Usually I'll be um, training in the e at nights, in the evenings, or uh, on the weekends, and then whatever extra time, like, when it comes to me working out by myself, PTing before unit PT starts or PTing during chow, working out, doing whatever I can to have that extra little bit because it's, it's not one of those, if you really do want to go far in it, it's not one of those things that you can just, you know, spend an hour at the end of every day. You got to put that extra time in. So mainly it's um, evenings right after work as long as I can and then whatever extra little bit I can put in. Coming into the sport, what were some of your, I guess, goals that you wanted to accomplish? The main goal, obviously, is to go as far as I can. I want to be a UFC fighter eventually, and I definitely do see everything, like, going towards there right now. And besides that, as I said, like, one of the most awarding things for me is to see other people be inspired by, by what I do. Um, so, being a Marine and having some of those values How do you think that's helping you accomplish your, your goal of becoming an uh, MMA fighter? It's helping out a lot because um, it takes a lot of discipline to be a fighter. As I said, it's a lot of hard work. So being able to push yourself to put in those extra hours, put like to work your body until you feel like you're about to die pretty much. And then as far as just personal values, um, it involves a lot of talking to people you know like after you win for example they'll bring the mic up to you You have to talk to people being able to exemplify what you stand for and the values that you have because there are a lot of people watching and it does influence you know a lot of little kids a lot of you know older people people that want to do something in their life so okay um from when you first started practicing mma up until now um how have your feelings toward the sport changed, if, if at all? I feel like every every time I go there and come back, I I just love it more. And um, as far as me not wanting to do it or wanting to do it, nothing's changed. I still I still want to do the same thing I did. It's just it's very motivating to be able to, you know, there, there'll be days where I don't feel like going to work out and, you know, I push myself to go anyways and it just feels rewarding after that. So the only thing that would change is being more motivated, if anything. Okay, okay. so the, the night of your last fight from the time you first got there 
up until you stepped in the cage? What, what all was going through your head? First off, I was trying to concentrate on everything my coach was telling me. I was um, a little more nervous, as I said, because that was my first pro fight. And I was just thinking of everything that could like induce any type of anger in me. I was thinking of reading Gates of Fire and all the bloody, gory things they would say in there. Or I actually imagined her slapping my sister so I'd get angry and try and attack her in the cage. And um, just, just anything that could get me in that mindset. And honestly, when I stepped in the cage, I like flipped, I, I was already there. I didn't need all that stuff anymore. So um, just trying to get myself pretty much in the mindset of being a killer. I see. So being a female and being an MMA fighter, do you feel like you have to do a little bit extra as opposed to a male in terms of, I guess, standards that you have to live up to? Do you feel like you need to prove yourself? I don't feel necessarily like I have to prove myself. I think that kind of comes with um, fighting in itself. Because, uh, of course, like when you're female, I do hear a lot of people say that, oh, you know, I didn't expect your fights to be that crazy, you know, just because just they haven't seen a lot of female fights. But I think, I think it's more of, a, it, a more of a thing where it's a very new sport altogether. And then for females to come into it is, is just new. It's more, it's more exposing myself as a fighter versus trying to prove myself. Because I think that comes with um, people just seeing it and seeing what you're made of. I see. Well, winning in the first 20 seconds, did you expect it to happen that quickly? No, I did not. Um, I, as I said, I was nervous. I was going to give it everything I got. I, I never expected to end in the first round. I trained for it and I expected to you know, finish in the last round because if, if you expect it to end that soon and it doesn't happen, you're going to be exhausted because it, it does take a lot out of you when you're in there. So I expect it to just be finished in the last round, but it, it turned out not to, and it was great. Outside of like the different techniques and moves and things you learn like that in MMA, what are some of, I guess, some of the deeper values that you might take away from it? As I said, again, it takes a lot of discipline. So <clears throat> just if, if it's anything, it's pushing myself. It's pushing myself to the very, ma very max. And um, those days when I'm feeling down to be able to get out of that mindset and say, forget this, I need to go train. Because you're always trying to improve yourself. Like always being able to improve myself, pushing myself to the max. and reaching reaching out to people and putting out a positive message for everyone. Um, so, you know, being able to balance the Marine Corps, being able to balance your training as an MMA fighter, uh, do you feel like, I guess, the volume's turned down a little bit in other you know, situations in your life? Like, do you feel like it's easier to overcome certain situations now? It, it definitely is, just because I feel like you know, doing everything you can in certain areas of your life, it gives you a certain type of confidence. It gives you that self-esteem and it helps a lot when it comes to other areas of my life because you kind of just mentally mess with yourself and tell yourself like, hey, I'm in there fighting people in cages. I'm training with like 200 pound dudes like punching me in the face every day. I can, why can't I handle this? So you, it, it, it definitely does help. Okay. Um, now, would you recommend this sport to other people? And if so, why? I would. I definitely would. Um, first off, I think it's very important to, in this world to be able to defend yourself. So f fighting in general, um, as far as like just, just the self-defense portion of that, I think that's very important. I think it gives you a great self-esteem being able to do something like that. And again, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not even talking about MMA in itself right now, because that, you know, if it's not for you, you, you're not gonna do it. But you know, if you're into fighting, it's definitely something I would recommend. And if you're not into fighting, just like the self-defense part of it, being able to, you know, work yourself out and be confident that in 
certain situations, you can get yourself out of it. I see. Um, any, any advice you might want to give, you know, like younger females that maybe are interested in MMA but have been hesitant to, you know, go out and try it? The advice I would give them is to stick with it. If you're trying to do MMA, the part where your mind is telling you, like, I want to stop, I don't want to do this anymore, that's the part where you have to push past it. So stick with it and give it everything you got because that's the only way you're going to reach the top.